What the heck is this Pokemon Go thing anyway? What did I just say? I said. What the heck is this Pokemon Go thing and what exactly is it? So everyone is shuffling around furiously swiping at their phones and bragging about their Vaporon and you're just sitting here like what's a Pokeball? It's okay. You're in the trust tree. All of your Pokemon questions will be answered in time. Long story short, Pokemon Go is a phone game that's taking over people's lives. It's an augmented reality game that uses real-world aspects and overlays the magical, slightly deranged world of Pokemon in a thinly veiled ploy to get people out of their houses and exercising for once. More on that later. Let's start from the very beginning. What even is a Pokemon? Please help me, I am so lost. My friends would disown me if they knew of my ignorance. You may have heard stories of people hunting down Pokemon on their office desks, in hospital rooms, and even in bathrooms. One teenage girl even found a dead body while looking for Pokemon. And police in Missouri claimed that four suspected robbers lured in victims with the possibility of Pokemon. What the hell is going on? In simple terms, Pokemon Go uses your phone's GPS and clock to detect where and when you are in the game and make Pokemon appear around you, on your phone screen, so you can go and catch them. As you move around, different and more types of Pokemon will appear depending on where you are and what time it is. The idea is to encourage you to travel around the real world to catch Pokemon in the game. Well, after a few years lying relatively low, Pokemon is making a bit of a comeback. The Nintendo-owned franchise, which exploded in popularity in the late 1990s, is again taking America by storm, this time through Pokemon Go, its biggest entry into the mobile space, now available for a free download on Android and iOS. It's so popular that it's on the verge of overtaking Twitter in terms of daily active users on Android. A Pokemon, short for Pocket Monster, is a little animalian creature. There are many, many types. It's best to think of them like different species and breeds of animals. When someone is catching Pokemon in Pokemon Go, the general aim is to get as many different kinds as possible. The most well-known Pokemon is Pikachu, who you will surely recognize regardless of how out of the loop you are. How do the Pokemons get in my phone though? Important note, the plural of Pokemon is Pokemon, not Pokemons. Although it is funny to say, if you are intentionally trying to sound like someone's out of touch aunt, which is definitely an aesthetic, no judgment. Anyway, the app, which is free to download and play, uses GPS to make a cartoony map of your neighborhood and basically anywhere you go. In this colorful, slightly Big Brother Y version of reality, Pokemon are interspersed throughout. And when you come within range of a Pokemon you can approach them and they will show up on your phone. The game uses your phone's camera, so you will get the very disconcerting impression that there is a ghost Pokemon flapping or undulating directly over your desk, your bath water, your local place of worship, etc. and only you can see it. It's very sixth sense. What do you do with them? The game gives you a limited amount of Pokeballs. You can trap wild Pokemon by throwing balls at them using a flicking motion with your finger. It's extremely frustrating. Sometimes they try to resist, other times they go quietly into that good night and you are awarded points and other goodies. Been flinging Pokeballs outside this porta potty for what feels like forever. Just stay in the balls you bat. While the Poco adding aspect is certainly enough to keep you in the game for hours like a kawaii Fitbit, you can actually use your Pokemon to fight other people's Pokemon and earn all sorts of other items and bragging rights. Points and Pokeballs You are losing me, friend. A Poke Glossary Pokemon, little creatures you can capture. Pokeball, the things you throw to catch the Pokemon. They are available at Pokestops and more will be provided to you as your character gets more powerful. Pokestop, Jotag locations, that is a landmark or destination, where you can get Pokeballs and other treats. Pokemon Gyms, where you can battle your Pokemon with other Pokemon to earn control over different gyms, 
as well as other prizes. These are geotagged like bokestops. Eggs, unhatched Pokemon, which you can incubate by walking. Evolve, through some hard work, your Pokemon can become even more powerful Pokemon. Candies, Stardust, Potions, Extras you can earn in the game that can evolve Pokemon or be used during battles. Pokemon Trainer, that's you. Okay so you have an avatar, which is basically you if you were a sexy animated Pokemon trainer. Your little guy or gal gets experience points when you do stuff, which makes them a more powerful Pokemon trainer and allows them to level up. Here's the important part, to get more Pokeballs, you walk to different Pokestops. Pokestops are usually at interesting places around your city or community. Let's say you are walking down Main Street, Whereverville. You might find a Pokestop at a popular store, landmark, work of art or other point of interest. There are several in the CNN Center in downtown Atlanta alone. Don't be jealous. The ideal gameplay strategy is to walk around, trying to cover a lot of ground to get to different Pokestops and come across different Pokemon who might be hiding in your path. That sounds dangerously close to exercise. As mentioned before, Pokemon Go is clearly nothing more than a ploy by big video game to get you up and moving around. There are several incentives in the game that prove this, and the most blatant are eggs, which are unhatched Pokemon you can acquire at Pokestops. In order to hatch the eggs, you have to walk to incubate them, 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers, etc. How transparent is that? It works, though. Here's the search frequency of the query 5 kilometers in miles from Google Trends. That spike is July, when Pokemon Go was released in the US coincidence. Probably not. People are just planning their Pokemon Go strategies and learning about the metric system. In fact, loads of players have reported alarming increases in their physical activity. I still harbor reservations and or I am resistant to change. Is this game scary? While response to the game has been overwhelmingly positive with people trading stories of friendships and discoveries made, Pokemon Go has had its share of little pitfalls. A girl found a dead body while playing, a group of teenagers used the app's in-game features to lure people close and rob them, and police departments have even issued mildly bemused warnings to players reminding them to do basic things like look both ways before crossing the street. The nature of the game also means you may be tempted to loiter and trespass a little. How far are you willing to go for a Pokemon? Kayaking in a fountain? Sneaking in a neighbor's backyard? It's happened. One guy has even made a few dubious friends after his home, a refurbished church, was designated a Pokemon gym. We'll save you a question. A gym is a place where you can take your Pokemon and fight them with other nearby people's Pokemon. Anyway, this poor guy now has people parked in front of his house at all hours, tapping on their phones like lunatics in a quest to be the very best. That's a Pokemon reference. You wouldn't get it. This is what I'm a little leery of. People pulled up, blocking my driveway as they sit on their phones. This seems complex. Next you're going to tell me it gets even more complex. It does. Really, there's so much else going on. Playing the game will net you things like potions and stardust and candy and then there's the issue of evolving Pokemon and trading them. And there are plans to release a companion wrist device that alerts players of nearby Pokemon even without a phone in hand. Oh, and there are teams. There's no need to get into that. You learned what a Pokemon was today, and that's enough. When will this go away? So far the game is a phenomenon. Nintendo stock has skyrocketed. The app is already netting more downloads than the dating app Tinder and is on pace to outperform Twitter in daily active users. It hasn't even been released in most of the world as yet. It is here folks, and Pokemon Go is here to stay. Watch the heck out as there has already been a few accidents from this new form of distracted driving.